Hey guys, Icewire here and welcome back to the channel. Now today we have some video game news. Yep, that's right. Finally breaking away from the Bloodline stuff just for a moment to cover some other gaming related things. Although it is somewhat related. So if you know me and you've been around the channel very recently, you know I've been quite excited for Bloodlines 2, which is set in the World of Darkness universe. And apparently there is also a werewolf console RPG coming. Yeah, I am just as shocked as you. I did not know this. This was completely skipped my mind. But apparently it's happening and it's going to be presented at E3. Apparently it is called Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. Now there isn't too much information out about this game, although there are some small, very interesting pieces. The following information I am taking from HardcoreGamer.com and PC Gamer. So this game has been developed by Cyanide and they have been working on this action RPG for nearly two years now. And it is set to come out in around 2020. It will be released on PC and both consoles, so Xbox One and PS4. Basically just your regular mainframe consoles, they will be getting this game. No idea about the Nintendo Switch, but those free uh, gaming stations, if you will, are going to be getting this game. Now this is a narrative driven game and you will be playing a specific character, specifically the character of Kahal. Kahal? I don't know how to say it say this person's name. I was going to say K-Hall. If anyone knows how to actually pronounce it, let me know down in the comments below because I'm terrible with name pronunciations. So we'll be taking control of this werewolf in particular, who had initially been banished from his clan. However, the werewolf returns to protect his threatened clan and master his inner rage. Now, obviously from that, it is, you know, there's not too much info to go on. But after some digging, I actually found a Wikipedia article on this game that actually shares a little bit more about what the story is. Also, if you're relatively familiar to the World of Darkness universe like I am, like with the vampires, the werewolves also have their own set clans, if you will. I could do a whole video if I wanted to, talking about the werewolf clans in particular, if anyone wanted to see that, because I would personally like to look into it myself and get a little bit more familiar with it. But just to name a couple examples of what these werewolf clans are, for example you have the Glasswalkers who basically think that humanity should, you know, rid technology and, you know, focus on the environmental problems like climate change. They probably really want to do something about climate change. You also have the Black Furies who fight for feminism, women's rights and gender equality. So pretty, pretty progressive. And those are just to name a couple of the clans, but we'll get into that another time. Right now, let's focus on the plot. The main character is Cahill, who has been banished from his clan, the familial Fianna clan of Irish werewolves. That explains the name. There's probably like a Celtic pronunciation for that, because I think it is Celtic. But he returns to protect his clan and master his rage after something has happened to his son. On his quest for redemption, he partakes in the Great War of the Garrow to fight the powerful vampire-run Pentex Corporation, which causes pollution and environmental problems, and not only serves the worm to tap into its power. So the worm, if you don't know, there are three entities that look over the World of Darkness universe. They, they kind of rule things. There's Gaia, which is described as a chaotic creative force that creates life and oversees nature. The Weaver, which orbits Gaia and basically organizes the Earth and is trying to fix the over-booming human population and it's getting a bit too hard to bear on this entity because of how bad it's gotten, which, you know, is very much how things are in the real world. I like, I kind of like low-key, I'm related, just off topic real quick, how the World of Darkness takes like aspects of our um, modern day society and like integrates it into its universe. I think that's really cool. And finally the worm, which originally existed as a balancing force between Gaia and the Weaver, but it's become pretty much a black hole and is trying to destroy everything due to how big the Weaver has gotten. And it's kind of where the corruption of humans comes from. As I mentioned earlier, Earthblood will be shown at E3 2019 
I mentioned this in one of the articles that I checked out, the PC Gamer article, and I did double check on the actual E3 website and the developers that are working on this game are confirmed to be on the list of companies that will be present at E3, so the information does seem pretty solid. And honestly, I would love to play a werewolf RPG. I'm a huge fan of Skyrim, like if you've been around the channel for a long time or even just take a glance at a few of my older videos, uh, you'll see that I have been, you know, quite a vocal fan of Skyrim. And one of the things I liked about that game in particular was that you could become a werewolf. I always did that in every playthrough. Not only that, but outside of gaming, I've always found werewolves really, really fascinating. As a kid, like a little five-year-old girl, it's gonna sound really weird, but I had this huge fascination with vampires and werewolves and dragons. They were like my three main things that I loved. So five-year-old me would be living for this if she got to play a game like this. And I sure as hell know that present me is also living for this because this is something that I've always wanted. So I can't wait to find out more about this game. Hopefully it's good. I really hope it is because I don't know anything about the developers. So I don't know if, you know, they are, you know, trying to fit into boots that are too big for them or if they can handle something like this. The game is also being developed in Unreal Engine 4 in case anyone is, you know, wondering about that. Uh, which is the same for Bloodlines 2 that is also being developed in Unreal Engine 4 as well. And just looking at the Wikipedia page for this game, just trying to get a little bit of information on what this werewolf game is, uh, specifically the gameplay, uh, there are some citations that do mention that we will be, it's a third person game, and our character is an eco-terrorist werewolf. That's the exact quote. <laughs> you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to read this entire paragraph for you guys because I'm, I'm interested in this and I'm pretty sure that you guys are probably curious as well. The werewolf is a shapeshifter and can take on the forms of a wolf and a human in addition to his werewolf form. Oh! Oh, okay, so you get... That's dope. That's dope. So you get a werewolf form, a wolf form, and a human form. That's really cool. I like that. Each form has its own gameplay mechanics tied to it. The wolf form is used for exploration, tracking, spying, and stealth, as well as being able to pass through narrow passages. The human form is used for interactions, such as using machines and confusing with people, and the werewolf form is used for combat. When in the human form, other characters are not aware that the player character really is a werewolf, allowing the player to go undercover. The player develops the werewolf through a skill tree, where they can choose between different archetypes connected to different weaknesses and strengths. The player also has access to various supernatural power-ups, which are drawn from nature. Now this next bit is really interesting because you don't really see this kind of thing in many games where you play as a supernatural being that, you know, has the tendency to get, get very emotional and hot-headed and actually have that impact, you know, how your character basically behaves in the game. The gameplay involves management of the player character's rage. The werewolf's rage rises as he learns about problems humans have caused, such as pollution and greed. If the player lets the werewolf's rage overflow, the werewolf will enter a frenzy state and turn into a violent, monstrous beast. When in the frenzy state, the werewolf is more powerful, but also finds it more difficult to pass information such as whether a character is an enemy or an innocent, and will draw the attention of enemies. Once in the frenzy state, the only way to break out of it is to kill all who are present, regardless of if they're enemies or not. Oh, that's so cool! It fits for a werewolf, because if some kind of beast, like we'll take the werewolf for example, because obviously that's what we're talking about, so we'll use it. If a werewolf is raging, you know, it, the bloodlust sets in. That, that can happen for any, you know, carnivorous animal out there that tends to, you know, have that sort of bloodlust rage in them. So the fact that they go into these frenzy states and they, the only way to get out of it is to kill everything and everyone nearby is actually, a, it's morbid, but it's a really cool detail and I hope that we do get to see this in action. I would love to actually get a look at what this actually is because obviously there's no gameplay for this yet. These are all cited for multiple articles that are listed 
and I know, I'm, I'm the kind of person that wants to actually see it in action before I get too excited. But just from the sounds of it, this does sound really cool. It has my attention. It definitely has my interest. And just, oh man, that, that werewolf rage aspect is such a good idea. I assume this also happens in the tabletop game because obviously Werewolf the Apocalypse is a tabletop RPG long before it was ever about to be a console game. I don't know what else to say other than just I'm really excited for this and I just wanted to share with you guys because this is where I talk about things that interest me. Yeah, that's, that's basically the point of my channel. What do you guys think of Earthblood? Is it something that interests you too? Do you want to play a werewolf game? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear them come nerd out with me. I just really love werewolves. Werewolves are like my guilty pleasure and I just think they're really cool and awesome and badass and I want to play this game. I'm very excited for it so I can't wait to see more of it and learn more about it and hopefully it's good. Consider supporting me on Patreon as it feels to grow for my content's quality and the variety and production of said content that you guys get to see all here on the channel. And of course, as always, a huge thank you to my current patrons. They are Cosmironic, Nicholas Montoya, Hasgirl, Cooladora, Kay, and Zapfinelch. And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video like these guys, do hop over onto Patreon and have a look around at the cool rewards on offer. Or if you don't want to deal with the whole monthly subscription stuff, do consider checking out my Ko-Fi. If an easy, breezy, or one-stop donation is more your thing, do check that out.